Well, functional, um, if it's functional, you know, they have to be able to run. They have to be able to climb them stairs without you holding them. They have to be able to go outside and run for five minutes without them overheating, you know? Because a lot of dogs will overheat, and I just feel like that has something to do with them being functional too as well, because if they're going to overheat after five minutes of them being outside and walking and, and jogging and stuff, they're not very functional to me. It's not very functional to me because how are you? How, how am I going to know if you're functional if you overheat as soon as you go outside, you know? But functional, yeah, you have to be able to climb the stairs. You have to be able to go outside without overheating. I mean, I get overheating after being outside for a while, but not right as you go outside. Be able to run, be able to go on walks and without overheating. And also without functional also has to do with the limbs because a lot of exotic nano bullies have problems with their limbs and their, their legs and stuff. You have to be able to them back legs, you have to be able to walk on them without, you know, them them like bending backwards and um like uh bending out to the side. I don't know if you've seen it, but they're Yeah, and, I, I didn't seen it. Yeah, they're, they're, I just seen this issues. joint issues. Yeah, that has a part to play with functional as well. If you have joint issues, you're not gonna be very functional. You're not gonna be able to run. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be able yes. to climb and climb the stairs or jump or anything. That's one of the drawbacks is the complications with the brain. Yeah. Is they it's, they do have you do a lot of joint those, Quite issues. a few complications. So, like, if you get one with the breathing issues, mm -hmm. the sinus issues, like you said, the smaller you get, the, the more compact, the more issues they're gonna have. Yeah. Arthritis in their joints. Yeah. And so yeah. The, if you get they, one like that, they're not gonna be very no, they're functional. Not, they're gonna die. Yeah. yeah they, and it that is a fact. lot. So. It does happen a lot. And a lot of these breeders, you go see your studs in public, y'all. Go see your studs, not public. Go see your studs in person. Before you lock if that you stud can, in, yeah. I mean, if you can't yeah, pick I'm a different stud videos. and pick a different stud and go see that stud in person before you lock that yeah. stud in, because them videos they're, they're very fooling. You'll see a dog on that video. You go see that dog in person, or at least a Facetime call. Do a Facetime call and and yeah. have them. And you tell them like, let me see the dog climb the stairs, or let me see the dog run back and forth. You know, do that before you lock that stud in. Because the, you you will get sold the dream. The Instagram is very fooling. You could you could maneuver that camera any way you, any way, yeah. and it'll it won't show that what what they're actually hiding. So go can't see them. Believe the hype. You can't always believe the hype. You gotta go. You gotta go see them dogs in person because you won't know. Or or on Facetime, you won't know if they're functional honestly because people hide a lot Unless of stuff on Instagram. Genetics, don't, yeah. Don't want to have a whole litter of yeah. Is you know. Uh, like I said, I'm not an exotic breeder, but I've been I've been paying attention more now that I'm like doing this type of thing. But you know, I seen uh, at a show before, like you know, a bunch of exotic breeders had got mad at a particular judge because he had made the dogs walk. You know, they they got mad about that. They felt a certain type of way, like you know. I guess, That's, you know, what are you making our dog walk for? What like, do you mean? When you're showing your dog, you, you're supposed to, they're supposed to walk. That leads you to believe that that stud had something wrong with his walking. Yeah. If, 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 a, if also, if a breeder is always carrying their nano or their, their micro, you know, I'm just thinking like there's probably right. something wrong with their legs. Mm -hmm. They're probably, it's usually the back legs. Is, the, the front legs sometimes is how they bow out like this, you know, that there'll be something wrong like that, but it's usually the back legs with um, nanos. But yeah, if you see a breeder always carrying their nano, I mean, understandably carrying them sometimes, but always you'll see that always carrying them, that's a red flag. That's certainly a red flag. Yeah, like at, yeah, at this one show, it was, I forget which show it was, but um, not Kobe. What's his son's name? Kobe's son that just came to the U.S.? Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar. <sighs> Oh like I goodness. said, I'm just now tapping in to the, to the exotic dogs. His name isn't Hope, I don't think. It's not Hope. It's, um, it's, uh, that's what it is. It's, uh, something. But he was at the show. He just came over from China, and the dude carried him the whole entire time. The whole time did not put him on the floor. He put him on the table, but when he was on the table, he was pushing his back down to where he sat down and didn't stand up. And later it was revealed that there's something wrong with his back legs. So you're going to see that. You're going to see them breeders always carrying their dogs. And it's nine times out of ten, they're, they're hiding something. So you gotta, you definitely, before you lock that stud and go see, see, see for yourself. Don't believe the hype. 